Hey, welcome back y'all to Living in Houston, Texas with mm -hmm. SSG. I am Brandon Snyder and I am here with my buddy, Tony. What's up? And we are here, we're in Waller, but this is Hockley, this is Waller. Look, I don't know, man. Okay, we are here in Jubilee <laughs> today. This is a really unique and new neighborhood, mm -hmm. literally right out of the right outside of Cyprus. I mean, you're minutes away from everything. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this community because I kind of had a sneak peek of it. This is a Johnson development community. They're a big developer all across the Houston area. Uh, we're actually ambassadors of their new development, Creston, coming up in Magnolia. But we actually live, I live in Hockley. I live literally an exit down the road from this community. Yeah. And you live 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away, yeah. So. And we are out here today because we just wanted to highlight this community to you. It is absolutely gorgeous. They mm -hmm. just really started at the beginning of this year. And we're starting to see the foundations of the promises they made and the things that they're doing. And it's really cool to see. So a little bit of history about this community and, and kind of where, where it comes to fruition is they really wanted to build something that was a wellness community. Now, this is a first of its kind. And a wellness community is a little bit different than like your normal master plan community that has the nice amenities and it mm -hmm. has everything. They really designed this with mental health and wellness and kindness and, and just, you know, loving the culture and the land and things like that in mind. Hmm. What do they have differently? Yeah, I mean, so when I was talking to the developer about this, they said, hey, like this is this is going to be something where there's going to be zones. There's going to be zones in each section of the neighborhood. Again, it's a master plan community, so you have different sections of the neighborhood. This is going to go on for years. It's a brand new development, so they will be building a ton of homes here. Yeah. But each section has its own little um, niche uh, wellness community. So. For example, if you wanted to go, you know, normally in a big community like this, you see walking trails and we're actually sitting in, you know, a little courtyard area outside of the model homes. But one of the things that they're really going to be keen on is like yoga in a certain zone or like having a specific kids area in another zone and really building to the lifestyle of each of those sections. Um, and something that they're really big on in this community, which was I thought was really cool, hmm. is not only are they gonna kind of tailor each section to the individuals that live in that section, um, you know, not that they're like putting people in different sections, but they're really trying to um, make people feel welcome. You know, I don't have to go to the front of the neighborhood to go use this amenity, or I can go do yoga with my neighbors and stay with my neighbors in the back of the community, because with these communities, they get huge. I mean, we're talking thousands of acres that were purchased. Yeah. Um, when, so just curious, when you say yoga, like neighborhood, is it, are they offering classes? Or yeah, is it so, so the way that it's, it's been described is that um, they're, you know how the, in the big communities, they have like the retention ponds and they have little parks. Yep. So kind of how we're sitting in this section right now, this is a section outside the model home, but like what will happen is in the future, homeowners will be able to come here and they'll do specific events in this part of the neighborhood. And they'll do, you know, there will be a, a sense of community of everyone coming together, but each little section will have its own wellness center area and each section will kind of highlight different things. Huh, that's um, pretty cool. Johnson's really big on trying to love on their people um, and really make them feel welcome and make them feel a sense of community and really just build this this wonderful, vibrant community. And they're, they're great at it. I mean, they've built so many different communities in the greater Houston area, Siena down, uh, down south. Yeah. You have um, Amira right up in Tomball near us here. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different communities that they've built. I mean, Wood Forest is a perfect example. Wood Forest is ginormous. Um, the home prices range, you know, they, they really try and include everybody. They're, they're really inclusive with what they build. Mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the things that really stuck out to me, and we're going to talk about this with different builders, is the part of the wellness community is going to be lighting, ambient lighting that matches, um, you know, emotions and feelings and things. I was like, wait a second. I was like, that sounds... are we going to bust out like some crystals and like, are we going to start, you, you know, know, pouring some incense out? Some like, candles in here and yeah, like, and... what's what's going on? Mm -hmm. And then what ended up happening was they explained it to me. I was like, wait a second. I was like, when you walk into a house, your mood is affected by the the lighting. When sure. I oh, walk into sure. a house with a client, if it's too dark, they're not buying that house. Right. They're like, this house is too dark. There's no natural light. There could be a ton of natural light, but if the lighting isn't correct, there's a chance that they're not going to buy that house. Oh, for sure. And so, um, 
Anyway, that's the way this, this community has told me. So anyway, I you know, we're gonna get into kind of what that looks like with all these builders, and we're gonna show you a lot of their features and a little bit of the neighborhood, but uh, we're just in the early stages here. I mean, they literally just had the grand opening last week. They're going to be mm -hmm. um, selling, you know, they've already sold like 30 plus homes uh, since then, probably more since the grand opening. So there's gonna be a ton going on here. They're gonna keep building for a while. Um, but I wanna tell you a little bit about the location. So, uh, like I said, this is literally an exit down the road from my house. Um, mm -hmm. This is about 10 minutes for you. Right. So tell us a little bit about what's nearby. Less than 10 minutes, but we, we do have the outlets. Yeah. Right, we have, we have Fairfield. So there, I mean, in the, it's not just the outlets. There, there's there's HEB there. Yep. There's a movie theater there. There's some half dozen Mexican food options there. There's literally like six Mexican restaurants. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so it, it is, it is, it's close. It's close to a lot of good food down there. Yeah, everything's mm -hmm. close by. Um, I think one of the things that I absolutely love to highlight about this area, because it's one of my favorite places, uh, because we're in Waller County, um, or, or sorry, not in Waller County, but we're like closer to Waller County, we're gonna be five, 10 minutes from the Bucky's, which this Bucky's is ginormous. You can go <laughs> get amazing food. You can go get your, you know, your brisket sandwich. You can go get your Tesla charged while you're over there. It's yeah. a Tesla charger for you Tesla owners. Um, speaking of wellness and saving the environment there and things you like go. that. Um, this, this is the perfect location because, you know, it's right off the freeway. We're right off a of bad key road. So there's literally no reason you can't just get on the, on the expressway here on 290 you can get on 99 you're literally 30 minutes to houston from here mm -hmm. everything's accessible but one of the things you're getting is a little bit more of a small town community feel out here and more of that welcoming community and, and a little more rural without you know seeing cows so if, if that's your thing <laughs> this is definitely the community for you but you got to come check it out we're going to show you around let's do it so one of the things you're gonna see here as we're walking along is they're building this retention pond out. It's not ready yet, um, but you can see they're putting trees in. They're planning this to be a really beautiful area for people to walk in, enjoy the community. And I just wanna highlight something here. This is just the model home area. Mm -hmm. I think it's so cool that they're gonna be building out this whole master plan community. And if you don't know what a master plan community is, it's literally like a giant thousands of acres they're gonna put homes, they're gonna mm -hmm. put parks, but Jubilee specifically has wellness in mind. They're gonna build areas for you to relax, recoup, recover. It's gonna be awesome. This is a first of its kind. It's got wellness certifications. I absolutely love what they got going on here. I have a question for you before we go in. Okay. This retention pond, right? Yeah. So we don't have a retention pond in California, do we? I don't think so. No, you just have the reservoirs. Right? You know, so w what's the point of having this retention pond? So here's the thing. We live near the coast mm -hmm. and we get hurricanes here. So one of the things that newer communities are really good at is avoiding flooding. And one of the ways they do that is specifically through retention ponds. What happens is all of the storm water is going to come up into this reservoir or this, uh, this retention pond here. And it's gonna be stored here. And at some point it's going to then get pushed out into the main, um, the main water lines and get pushed all the way out of here. So one of the things you'll see in more rural communities, and I know that's one of the concerns out here was like, is yeah. it gonna flood? Cause we're in more of a rural community out, out, you know, closer to Waller. But this specific community is not gonna be in a floodplain, which is awesome. Um, most builders these days don't build on that, but that's because they, they build the infrastructure. Build these, and right. you can actually see it. Um, if you look that way, there's a whole nother retention pond out there. So they're gonna build things like this. Now, here's the cool thing. As a normal homeowner, you don't realize that these are, you know, the walking path that you're walking on or whatever mm -hmm. is specifically designed to prevent flooding. They're like, oh, it's a cute lake that I get to walk past right. with my dogs. So it is beautiful, but it, has, it serves a purpose. Right. It's a dump because yeah, I mean, that's what everyone's worried about, right? Flooding. Yep. Flooding, and so, and so it's nice to have retention ponds to kind of keep you safe. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so we are at TriPoint, 50 foot. We're still in Jubilee, right? So we're in the TriPoint model home. So we're gonna go go inside and see what's going on. And if you've seen our other videos, you, you've seen TriPoint. You see the quality uh, that TriPoint offers. Uh, come on in here. Look at that staircase. The staircases are great. So this would be where your garage would be. All right, so this is not here. That's Ken. 
Ken's a sales rep here. Yes. He's awesome. <laughs> so we're co let's go right. So you would way. not have an office in your garage, right? right? Somebody watching this online is like, do I get an office in my garage? No, that's where your car goes. That's where your big truck goes, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, it, this is this would be the entrance to the garage right here. Yeah, a little bit of a mud room right here. A little, little mud room. So we are on the 50 foot lot, right? So like I said, we, if you've seen our other videos, we've been in, in some of the larger lots, the 70 foot lot, right? So this here is more of a spec home. What does that mean? It means that when you're coming in here, you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be able to, de, to change up too much of the designs, right? It's gonna be more know, inventory. Yeah, more I mean, you're inventory. gonna see more inventory mm -hmm, in this, mm -hmm. and um, but that's okay because they're a higher quality builder. So you're starting off at a higher point, right? Yeah. So here we are. You've got your utility room right over here. I like that. Look at the tiles. Well, the window there, that's a nice touch. That way when you're doing your laundry, not in the dark. All right, so this one has, this is two bedroom downstairs, two bedrooms upstairs. We have an office. We also have a media room, but we'll get to that. But here's, here's our office. Now some of these accent walls obviously aren't gonna come with the home. Just pay attention to that because what I don't wanna have happen is someone buy a home and be like, well, I thought it was supposed to come with this and it doesn't. Right. So you swing around and we've got our, our first bedroom right over here. Oh, now this is a full bath down here, but it's also going to be one of your guest baths. Like people who are in the house are going to use it. Mm-hmm. Get this pretty big, pretty big size bedroom here. Good size bedroom. Good size closet. I like the carpet too. Yeah, this carpet's different quality. I mean, and you can just see it, you know? It's I actually, just me, personal preference. I don't like the design of the carpet. I like the quality of the carpet though. The quality, yeah, it's 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 very soft. Like, you know, sometimes yeah. you walk on carpet, you're like, oh, it must be this thin because I can feel the floor underneath it. But this is very, this is very soft to the touch. So one of the things you're gonna notice about this house, and Tony, I don't know about you, but I love the natural light coming in. There's so much natural light coming in, and it's actually dark out today. Yeah, but... it is very overcast today, and it, it it is so bright in here. High vaulted ceiling again. Look at that. Do you think this is standard right there? You know, so one of the things that you're going to notice is that a lot of people like to customize their fireplace to look different ways. So you can actually change uh, sometimes. Not yeah. with this, you know, this is probably going to be inventory. Mm -hmm change how that looks. Maybe you can pick the colors or a little bit of the style, but the design is most likely going to be right. there. But look at it. it's a nice open kitchen right here. And so cruise on over this way. So, you know, we've been kind of talking about this Jubilee and, and, and the wellness right here. So here, every home comes with an Aqua Kinetic A200 reverse osmosis water system. What does that mean? It means it's clean water. You know, it's, it's, you're not gonna need a separate filter to have your, your bottled water. And we're all about, you know, filling up our water bottles. So here it, it, it comes standard in the homes, which is it's nice, you know, that way you've got nice clean water to, to be drinking and stay hydrated. So as someone from California, talk to me about drinking tap water in Houston. So, okay, so at least for me, I don't really like tap water in Houston. It just tastes different, it tastes like chlorine taste. But that's, you know, one of the things that they're really trying to help here promote is getting filtered, clean yeah. water that you can use for cooking, you can use for eating, yeah. um, whatever. And so that's something that I really like about this community is that you're gonna see that they're really trying to pay attention to things, you know, not just basic necessities, but things that improve your quality of life. And look at the sink. So what's nice too about this filtration system is that it's, you know, it's built in. And so, you know, right now when I go fill up my water, I'm filling up the water, you know, through my fridge and it, it's filtered and that's my drinking water. But it's nice that it's here because now you're, you're using it for cooking. You're using it for boiling your pasta. You're using it for everything, washing your, your fruits and vegetables. So it, it's just nice to have it there kind of already built in versus you know, oh, I just have my one filter in my fridge. And you don't have a sales rep coming to your door trying to sell you crap the day you move in. Yeah. That's something normal you're gonna see, guys. If you come to Houston, um, and I know it's like this in other states, but when you move in, sales reps are gonna come out, they're gonna sell you solar, they're gonna sell you water filtration. It comes with water filtration. Right. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Big, big walk-in pantry here. 
again, it's a tri-point home. So the right. attention to detail is here. You can see it, um, but it's, you know, when we're, we were talking about tri-point, when we did our, our tour in Bridgeland, it was $700,000, $800,000. This is a 50 foot product and it's in more of an inventory home. So you're getting the high quality, but you're getting it at a more reasonable, not reasonable, but just a better price because their prices are very reasonable for mm -hmm. what they sell. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the square footage sizes in this neighborhood or in this specific builder? They were talking about the low 20, 22, 2300, I think. Yeah. All the way up to 3,100 square feet around for the, for, for this first section. Yeah. Right. This first section we're in, we're in the 50 foot section. 50, yeah, 50 foot section. I believe that they will be opening up larger sections as the community grows. Now, we have the golden eye. That's what we're in now. Check out this sliding glass door. Now this is something that you don't have to pay a ton of luxury for. And it's nice, because I love the sliding glass door. That's one of my favorite things that you can do in a house. Um, and it really, I feel like that's how you know you've made them like you know, a sliding glass door. Yes, yeah, because it, door. right versus just one bit where they, you, you got the one entrance, but this you 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 have it nice and opened up for the the three days of the year when it's really good weather. Three, it's like ninety two outside right now. <laughs> as we're shooting this. All right, again, tall ceilings, wide open windows, going to really promote that sunlight. Now I want to clarify that your tri point homes do not come with a gazebo. This is something they did with their building as a, um, you know, just to show you what you can do with your backyard. Let's, oh man. Let's see our primary bathroom in here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this deep drop in tub, man. I kind of like that. That's like below the floor. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it makes it easy to step into. Frosted windows. Yeah, I love it. All right. You got to do it for the camera. You got to get in the tub. I, you know, I am not a big bath person, but something about this is very inviting. I, it's, I know. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, that's uh, that's pretty deep. I love it. I love it. But that's the thing, the attention to detail in something like that, you don't see tubs like that where it goes super low like yeah, that. I like and that. that's awesome. I mean, it's just so different. And again, this is an inventory home, right? So you're <laughs> struggling to get out of there now. This is nice. Tony just took a three hour bath and gets out. It's like, how do I get out of here? Whew. I love it. I love it. That's good. Nice, nice size walk-in chat with a little bench right here. Okay, so you've been seeing some of the other models with us and some of the other floor plans. This is a uh, this is a two butt shower probably, not a four butt. Mm -mm. Two it's butts. got the bench though, so maybe a little bit more. You could contemplate your life decisions. Yeah, why did I do that today? Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, kind of the reflective uh, glass tile here. That's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of that, but it looks really good in this house. Man, look at this, this closet. Oh man. My wife would love to have this mirror just right here and get ready every day. There's a ton of space in here, man. It is. A little bit of an alcove back there. Tall ceiling view, so you don't feel trapped. I like the mirror, kind of. I know it would scare me in the middle of the night if I walked up and saw my mirror uh, face in there. But... <laughs> There's an intruder in my yeah. house. But he's good looking. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. This is a really good indication of you know, what affordable luxury looks like, especially in the greater Houston market where, you know, we're only in Hockley. We're 10 minutes to Cyprus. We're near Bucky's. We got a ton of things around us near the Cyprus outlets. So you have so many different things that you can get to um, that just make it, you know, for what you're spending, you're getting an absolute uh, steal here. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I like this, this is kind of cool. So again, we, this here, this is 3,100 square feet, right? It's so spacious. Oh, wow. Again, game room, media room. I mean, I know this is not part of the house, but I like this foosball table. It's rustic, you know what I'm saying? That's how they used to play it back in the, 
back in the day, there yeah. weren't even players. It was yeah, just wood blocks. Just pieces of wood. <laughs> this is what I tell my wife when I'm playing video games. Just one more game, please. That's a cool. You know, I always, I always appreciate builders' um, sense of style when they build things. And they put the, you know, they have the interior design person the, come in. The design and, person is nice. Hey, look at this meeting room. That's awesome. So these doors come with it. Yes. That is nice. Yeah, something we saw at the, the other model was it was an open media room. They had, you know, that you'd have to close off, but this one does come with the door already, so it's nice that you can, you know, play it nice and loud in there. That's awesome. I think one of the things I appreciate about this staircase is that it looks over the front again. Again, big windows, dude. This is just awesome. Mm -hmm. huh. All right, let's see. Let's see the size of these bedrooms. Uh, we'll follow you. Let's go. Let's go this way. All right. Some real good sized bedrooms here. There's a big room up here. Big room, big windows. Like you said, it's a dark, and, th and they got this. No kids need a closet this big. I don't know, man, I need a closet this big. Windows going out, that's pretty nice. You know, I mean, this is a big closet. It's great. So there's one, here's our bathroom right here. Oh, look at the tiles. Oh man, the tiles, gorgeous. And then look at the sinks. The sinks are really unique. I like this style of sink. And I like that it's a double sink up here. Yeah, because they're sharing a bathroom. You know, because they're here. sharing a bathroom, so you got that double sink. I have the same blanket at home. Good blanket. It's a camping blanket. I know, I need to get one. That's awesome. That is nice. Talk to me about this. This is kind of unique to this floor plan. So this leads into attic space, but look how much space. I don't know. Ton of storage space. Because there's storage here, and then you go around the corner, there's another door over there. Is there a dead body over there? Hey, Welcome to the first 48. You know what I'm saying? If you don't hear back from me in a couple minutes, send help. Oh. I'm like, wait, you there? I'm back. I'm back. All right. Love it, man. This is great. This is this is a, a nice, spacious home on a 50-foot lot, 3,100 square feet. Five thirty-nine. Man, that's pretty good for all this space. Mm-hmm. Five thirty-nine, you guys. That's crazy. That's so good. So, if you like this home, you're like, hey, I want to move to Jubilee. Our contact information is below. Yes, so if you like this home and you would like more information and you want to know about this home, this builder, Jubilee, or you know anything in the greater Houston area, just go ahead and click down below. We'll help you guys out.